Today we're making this simple cheap planter from cedar using a circular saw and a hammer. This can be done in as little as 20 or 30 minutes. The planter is made from 2x4s and fence pickets, and since wood prices have really spiked, I've been pleasantly surprised to find that cedar has remained relatively unchanged. One nice thing about this design is that you can easily adjust the size by adding additional 2x4s to the legs. I'm using mostly scrap wood that I had sitting around, but I'm guessing it probably cost around $20. You can join the legs together in many different ways. I used pocket holes and glue because I had a pocket hole jig. I'll link it below, but if you don't, you can just use glue and clamp them. The screws just add a bit of strength. After trying out a couple different planter designs, I think I can say that the two slat tall sides, which is about 11 inches, is just about right for most plants. I ripped off a few pieces from a scrap 2x4 to serve as the supports for the bottom. Then I used glue and brad nails to attach these and the rest of the pieces together. But there's no reason you couldn't just use regular nails or screws. I've done both of those before and they work out fine. Aha! Hello there! I've caught you unawares two minutes into my video and you're still here. If you've made it this far, why not consider hitting the thumbs up, leaving me a comment, and subscribing to see more content. It really helps out the channel and I personally appreciate it. Also, find me on Instagram at Nathan Builds for more behind the scenes content. And well, that's it. Back to the video. In previous designs, I used landscaping fabric on the bottom of the planters to hold the dirt in. But for this one, I decided just to try to use cracks and so far it's worked out perfectly fine and it's a little bit less clunky. And that's it. I'm really excited with how these turned out. I'll link to a couple other videos on different planters I've built, but I think this is my favorite design so far. I also like that you can easily expand the dimensions to whatever you prefer by just adding 2x4s or additional length to the side pieces. Also, something to note, the end grain of the cedar does absorb some water, so it's a good idea to alternate the orientation of the grain so that they don't warp too much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got a bunch of other projects that I'm working on that should be out soon, so stay tuned. But until then, stay safe.